Hey guys, just wanted to put up a quick video there about uh, a shambolic piece of business from the Gunners today. Um, where do I begin? This is not this is not do is uh, our taste or the players or redo and us saying anything about them. This is out of their hands. But if you ever go out to Arsenal match, you walk across a bridge and they have big kind of flag banners with certain players from the history of Arsenal along the way and a bit of history boom, where the, what country they're from and stuff like that. Borough is there, Vieira, Perez, Henri, all the legends going along the bridge. Both, they had a banner up there the last couple of days with the great Liam Brady, one of the greatest players ever to play for the club. He started off his soccer career with St. Kevin's in the Dublin Irish League. And as a youngster, he went across the water and he had a great career with Arsenal Football Club. Won major trophies. What a talent, an exceptional player. Would have loved to have seen him live. I want to get to see him on YouTube channels and um, video clips and a couple of history videos, uh, DVDs. So I got to see clip, glimpses of him and from what I can see from him, he was an exceptional talent, an exceptional player. And he's an Arsenal man through and through. But the man is from Dublin. The man is Irish. Republic of Ireland. So the Arsenal man, anyway, whoever is responsible for putting up them banners and making them banners decided to put up a banner with Liam Brady midfield from England that's right that's from England to me it's disrespecting the man like it'd be like saying go on to Manchester United and you see David Beckham Midfielder from Manchester United from the Republic of Ireland. Sure, you know, or Paul Gascoigne from the Republic of Ireland. Stupidity of the highest order, lads. And I don't know who like, is responsible for making banners at Arsenal, but they want to do their little uh, history and find out where these players are from instead of putting down Irish players from England. Like, you're talking about Liam Brady. You're not talking about Eddie McGoldrick or someone like that. You're talking about Liam Brady, one of the giants of the club. And they can't even get the country right where the man is from. But then again, that's, that's Arsenal for you in a nutshell. They just don't. The owners and the ownership of the club, they just don't give a fuck. That's, that's, that's a blatant fucking... It's blatant to see. So whoever is, is responsible, they want to fucking get their eyes checked. They haven't a clue about the club. They haven't a clue about the history of the club. These lads are working for the club. So it's after angering a lot of Arsenal fans, and uh, rightfully so, to disrespect Liam Brady like that is absolutely disgraceful. Um, so yeah, so I'm not too happy about that there today, I have to say. And again, it's not. This is not our. This is not do our taste or the players or anything like that. This is just Arsenal Football Club. They just, you know, they just don't fucking care um, about the history and the traditions of the club. And if they did, they wouldn't be getting such a thing wrong. This is Liam Brady. I keep saying that this is Liam Brady, a football genius. But uh, so a few of the lads came out in the community here and voiced. The voice their opinion about the whole situation and big up to each one of you because so i know who you are but there's one particular fella i like to mention and his name is warren warren's team talk check out his channel that's he actually contacted arsenal football club this morning about the situation he was two hours and 10 minutes on the phone waiting to get a reply back so when he did finally get a phone call back <laughs> the woman on the phone said that's not the door that she get she she look into us she get it she she get someone to look into us now 
That's absolutely disgraceful, that's absolutely disgraceful. But then again, what else would you expect? So that's where we are with the with the, with that whole arson situation. It's 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 embarrassing. It's just it's just embarrassing. Um no like if I was to make a few phone calls here and if I was to ask that boy where's Dean Brady from? Warren's team talk, Jez Collins, Diesel, Stephen Featley, Static, uh, you know, all these rewants, Joseph, all these rewants, Ozzy Gunner, Kenny Kane, Lee Gunner, first ask them lads. Where is Liam Brady from? Every single one would be able to tell me where that man is from. Not only would they be able to tell me what country he's from, they'd be able to tell me what part of the country he's from and what club he played with as a schoolboy. Because they're the real ones, real fans, that cares about the history, cares about the tradition, knows their stuff about players, knows their stuff about the club. And they're still working for Arsenal Football Club and they're getting things like that wrong. Should be sacked on the spot. It's a fucking insult. It's a disgrace. I'm going over there on Sunday with that boy. You ought to see everything again. And we're going to be on that bridge. And that banner with Liam Brady on us better be taken down. If not, we'll take it down. Absolutely, absolutely disgraceful. Well, I just thought I'd do a quick one here because. It's not good enough. It's just not good enough from the club's part, you know. It's just not good enough. But they don't give a fuck. So anyway, I'm going in home here now after a hard day's work, make a cup of tea, sit back and enjoy the Champions League and hope that we're in it next season. So, big up to each one of you, Thanks very much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. And thanks for all your support. And I'll catch you all on Sunday because there's going to be, I'm going to be putting up stuff there. I'm going to try to interview certain fans over there as well. See how things go over there in the Emirates nights on Sunday. Looking forward to it. Lads, catch you later on. Mind yourselves. Thanks, lads.